What is up guys, it is TJAI and today I have a tutorial for you guys showing you how you can integrate Stack into Make to be able to create all sorts of AI automations that go beyond just creating chatbots. So with this you can create really um, specialized tweets on almost any topic, you can create cold DMs, cold emails, all sorts of things. Literally your imagination is the limit for how far you can take this implementation. Now in this specific tutorial, I'm gonna be using some leads that I've gathered through Appify, the Apollo scraper on Appify, and then using the stack integration to create custom DMs that I can copy and paste and then send to these leads without spending an ounce of effort actually generating them. So you can use this for almost anything and the really powerful element of this is being able to pull any data from the internet using Appify or any other data scraper or any other data source that you can find on Make and then being able to apply it to the, um, to the Stack AI API and then being able to generate those results inside Google Sheets. All right. So the first things first, this is the data set that I'm going to be referencing. Um, basically, I've got some um, 25 data um, points, some 25 leads that I've scraped just for this um, tutorial. And um, what I'm going to do is just put the data set ID inside of the Appify module. And if you want to know where to find that, you can just search Appify module when you look when you press app so you can find the application. I've already got it here, but once you get it, you select this and then select get data set items. You can also set it to run the actor or the scraper, get the data set items, and then apply them directly to stack. So you can actually have a scrape, um, pull, and generate the AI content associated with that data all automatically. But in this case, I'm just gonna be using data that I've already pulled. And then from there, it's going to be going to Google Sheets, whereby it's going to populate this entire spreadsheet once it loads. It's gonna populate this entire spreadsheet with the um, client, with the prospect details, and the, the uh, message that I'm going to be sending to them. So this is what the Stack AI um, uh, workflow looks like. It's very simple, a very simple Turbo GPT 3.5 um, Turbo 16K. And this is a very, very simple um, uh, system prompt. Using the information you're given, write engaging emails and cold DMs for LinkedIn prospects. You work for an AI automation organization called ScaleMyBiz.ai. You sign off all emails of kind regards to Tanaka Nyeri. Very simple. You just got your input, your output, and that's it. And again, like I said, you can take this really far depending on how far you want to take this. All right? So with that being the case, I'll then show you the actual integration side of things, which is really important. Now, I am going to show you my API key only because... I'm going to be deleting this chatbot as soon as this video is up. So don't bother trying to use it. It's not going to be working. But I think it's really important that I show you guys this so just so that you, you see exactly what the process is like. So here, from when you, when you select on export, you want to go to API endpoint. And this is going to give you all the details that you need to fill in to make. Now, in order to do this, you're going to want to pull up the HTTP application which is going to allow you to make the API call to Stack AI. So here you, you want to get the URL which is right here. You want to get that URL, copy and paste that into here. You then want to get the header which is going to be the name authorization and then you want to add your API key here which you will find right here. As you can see under the title authorization you get this name here. All you have to do is click show token, you copy and paste that and you get that right in here. And then also what you wanna do is when you're actually adding your auth key, you just wanna make sure that you copy and paste that here. And then, um, and then yeah. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure if you have to put it into the headers as well. You probably don't, but I just do it anyway. It doesn't break anything, so yeah, it works. And next thing you wanna do is um, select the body type to raw and then select content type JSON. So it gives you a few. You want application slash JSON, which takes care of this specific header here. All right. Now in request content, similar to how we do it in voice flow, what I'm going to do is select, is, is basically create a dictionary type um, uh, uh, request for the content. So essentially it's gonna be in, in speech marks in dash zero which refers to 
the input that we're going to be using in Stack AI. If I take you back to the workflow, in dash zero is the name of the user input, as you can see here. Let me just zoom in just in case you can't see it. In dash zero. And then ultimately what this means is when you put the colon and then in the quotation marks, write out this entire um, prompt or this entire user um, prompt. This is essentially telling Stack AI or the large language model that we're using through Stack AI what kind of output we want. So actually before we go through that, let me just change this to regular, to single quotation marks rather than double because they might have some sort of an issue with that. All right. And um, so here we're saying write an email for name, which comes from the get data set items, who runs this kind of business. These are all coaching businesses. And this is their website, organization website URL. This is all data taken from the Apollo scraper on, um, on Appify. And if you want to know how to use that and integrate it into Make, watch my video on the Appify tutorial, which should be popping up right about now on the icons. And then um, from there, um, you'll be able to get all these details that you're looking for here. So um, you must quote it in the email and the benefit we provide is automated lead generation, qualification and customer service. Include a short first sentence that complements or references their profile headline. So you have their headline or title to get their attention. And then you just click yes on past response and that's all you need to do. Now, you then want to get those details pushed into a Google Sheet. So what you want to do is first and create the connection for your Google um, profile, which all, all, all it really is, is just signing in with Google. And then from there, select your drive, which is my drive, select your spreadsheet, which is gonna, if you select, if you click it, it will come up with all the spreadsheets in your Google drive. You select the sheet name, my table doesn't have any headers, and then the column range is more something that I've, that I've um, specified. And then from here, um, all you're going to be doing is referencing the, um, the output that you'll get from, um, from Stack AI. So here, I'm just going to make sure that this actually works. So I'm just going to put my own details in here. So to tender, let's just say, um, I don't know, um, scale my business AI. And for the purpose of this, I'll say that I am an AI coach for, you know, um, AI coach for students and tech companies. And my title is AI entrepreneur. So let's have that running. And now that this is going to make the API call to Stack AI. We just give it one moment. There we go. Now that's been produced. And here we can see that is it's made the output app dash zero. There you go, you have your email. So it's actually quite a bit, quite, it's very long actually. So we're just gonna make sure that inside of here we say, um, you write short engaging emails. Because again, nobody is going to open their email and want to read something this long. Mm -mm -mm. You write short engaging emails and cold DMs for LinkedIn prospects. You work for an AI optimization called scalabiz.ai. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's just put you are an you are a outreach, um, I don't know, specialist for scale my biz AI. Let's just say no more than two short paragraphs and we can take this bit out here and then what we can do is just publish that because again this was way too long 
So we're just going to test this one more time. This is published. Fantastic. The API is up to date. Now we're going to do this again. So we're just going to test this one more time. Okay, instead of writing email four, let's actually change this to write an email two. Let's just save that. And then X of this. Okay. So now let's try that again to tender. Um, let's just scale my business AI. Um, AI coach for entrepreneurs. And AI coach. Now let's see the response that we get. It should be much better. And again, if you want to actually get this to be even more, um, you know, spe special or specified, what you can actually do is you can add, let's say, um, example cold emails into the Stack AI um, so that you can get it to be a little bit more according to your style. You can add different URLs to train it on how to use specific, you know, um, how to use specific um structures for cold dms so this could this is something that can make it a lot more um a lot more um targeted and a lot better with regards to the output okay so let's check it out okay it's still a little bit too long but oh well so i mean that's just a, a consequence of you know having a um just a a very basic um, stack AI integration but the process is what's most important here I just want to show you guys the process how it integrates you can do whatever you want inside of stack AI to get this process a little bit more structured but I'm gonna run this and you're gonna see how it goes through all these different leads and produces these outputs for every single lead and then all we need to do is open up Google Sheets there we go so now all we can do, we can just stretch this over. Again, this is a little bit too long of an email. Right, there we go. Fantastic. Hey, dear, dear Lauren, I hope this email finds you well. As a coach, your dedication to helping individuals achieve their goals is truly inspiring. I came across your profile and was intrigued by your expertise in coaching. I wanted to reach out because we want to take your business to the next level. All sorts of things. Right? Mm -mm -mm. Ah, okay cool so here one issue that i'm seeing is it's saying i invite you to visit our website yep that's not exactly how we're doing it but here's the point is you can select you can make these tweaks to get it a little bit more um a little bit more you know on point you can select, you can change around the way that it's actually written with regards to how the output is but as you can see here we go there we go. As a director of recruiting and a coach, your expertise in talent development is impressive. All these different things. And as you can see, these emails are being automatically generated using their own profiles. And again, you can do all sorts. I'm going to stop this now because obviously I don't need to show you the entire thing. So let's just force the stop. So as you can see, this is a really powerful method of generating new content by pulling in data that's been web scraped, whether it's from Appify or elsewhere, and there's so many other applications in Make that you can use for data scraping, getting them into, getting them into, um, into Stack AI and then outputting them either as an email, because you can also automate the email here using the, um, the MailChimp integrations and whatnot, and also getting it into any type of CRM. So, Hopefully this video has been quite useful to you guys. Obviously the output wasn't exactly perfect, but I just wanted to show you guys the, the process and this should really supercharge your AI automation efforts. If there's anything you guys want to know about how to implement this or any other suggestions that you have for this for my channel, 
let me know the kind of content you want to see and if you're a business who's looking to implement ai into their business drop me a message on some one of my socials or my linkedin profile everything is in the link in the description or you can book a call directly at scalemybiz.ai and we can help you out with a free prototype if you qualify and then will you'll be able to see risk-free whether or not ai is going to truly impact your business and help you scale without lifting a finger thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one